What happened? <laughs> Did you just see that? Yes! <laughs> yeah, like I said, it looks like something that... It looks like it just got smashed with something comically oversized, and now <laughs> it just... It looks like Golden's listening to a song and Blitz bobbing her head to it just because she has to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to give credit where credit is due, he tries. The look what on my face just says it all. I don't want to be here anymore. Put me down. I want to die! The looking, the looking die, 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 die! The looking golden near she's face is some kind of like existential mental break. Like, <laughs> <why is there? laughs> Just to suffer. He looks like he wants to die. What is sorry we haven't fun? <laughs> no, we're not. He's like, mm. she's like, no. 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 No, bruh, no, bruh, bruh, no, bruh, no. <laughs> bruh, bruh. Also, I told, I showed, I showed Doc this. <laughs> and the idea of him poking around the corner and telling you to be careful with me. <laughs> His response was, and I'm quoting him right now, I'd be giving him a stir. He takes a hit. I you cut out there for a second. <laughs> bless, bless. You cut out. Yes. Hello? Hello? There, now. Okay, okay Goldie, you want me to repeat gold. again? Yes. Okay. I told Doc what's happening and, and that what you was, mentioned What did he that say? You, he said, I'd be giving. God damn it, Discord! <laughs> Just type it down. Now I'm getting irritated. This is like three times already, like each of us have been cut out whenever we try to get to the punchline. Okay, I'm posting it to Golden. No, Bliss is already. No, okay, everyone just be quiet. How about that? And that will cut me off. All right. I told Doc about the idea of him giving you a yeah, stern I... look. You got that part? Yes. Okay. His response is, I'd be giving him a stern look every time you took a hit. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mother Night Train, thank you for following. Oh, hey, it's Mother Night Ray. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Uh, somebody you know of? Yes. Oh. A lot of people I know slowly migrate over to find my new friends. I see. So they can all become one. <laughs> they can become one. What the hell is Gruntles? Friendship circles intermingle, and we find more great people that could smile. Hey, hey, hey. Circle up. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I don't know what bewildered me more: what that voice sounded like, or what <laughs> ring was green when I heard it. Because the only oh uh, charity gaming. Voice... If you just arrived on time, yeah, we just went to post show. Yeah, you missed the whole thing, man. We've been, like, I've been going for hours. It's like, How long you been brushing your teeth there, Chief? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I couldn't oh get God, here in time because I had to brush my teeth. Well, shit, what the fuck? How long you brushing them? Oh, my they God. Want to be thorough. We all sealed that sounds so good. How about we have Nicole be a baby Yoshi from Yoshi's Story? Now I've got that theme stuck in my head. When that really deep voice sounded off, the only person I saw lit up in the call was Bliss, and I was like, hey, what? <laughs> 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 you are a terrific impressionist, or I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bliss, do Darth Vader. Um... Okay, hold on.
Such a feeling, she knew it to be true. No! I, I, no! I am your feeling. <laughs> no! Search your no. feelings, you know it to be true. <laughs> you can't be my father, you're a woman. It would be excruciating! <laughs> <laughs> If you were a dog, there is something you must know. I am your father's cousin's <laughs> second cousin's visitor's roommate. And we are just us? covering each other's mouths now. Oh, God, why must I put on the mask? <laughs> it, would hello, ex hello, 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 it would be ex- It would be excruciating. Your spirit or your body? Yeah, your spirits? Yeah. Your <laughs> Just breaks I'll the back of that man. Next time. How will we get here? We tend to have a little bit of fun sometimes. Tap in the morning to your laddies. No. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fucking I die. I love how we're all going for the slow, deep stuff, and then you just break the flow with Jack Septica. Uh, ask me to act something that I might be able to act. I can't do voice acting to save my life, so... <laughs> Tell me to voice act something that I kind of can in, in person. Uh, do that thing from the Black Crystal. The you mean the Dark Crystal? Dark Crystal. Oh, wait, are, are you talking about this kick? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I might, might want to mute your mic for this. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Were you trying to impersonate Joey? Because you got that spot on. <laughs> okay. Fizz gig. I was trying to do fizz gig. <laughs> I, it's a good thing I moved my head. Good God, that was loud. I mean, I could have referenced. <laughs> I mean, I could have just referenced. Oh, what the Fuck! That wasn't my fault. That was so your fault! How was it my <laughs> fault? You fucked it up! <laughs> <laughs> we got stream reruns during the post show. This, this is the best. Do what an impression of Joss Scorcher. It, uh, really? An impression of Joss Hi, this is the Wire oh. Joker, and I like to act like the nostalgic crick. I need the baby Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I cut out there, didn't I? I like torture. I mean, like cheese. I like cheese. Give me all the cheese. Hi, I got a scorcher. Cheese, cheese, cheese. No, no, no. Allow me to rephrase it again, because I got cut out by Discord again. Hi, this is the Fire Joker, and I like to do reviews in nostalgia critic style. Oof. Oh, son of the rest of us. Come on. Oh, hey. So, when you kick him in the dick, is the aim to return the balls to the body, or are you just being killed? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, he has a point. Because you wanna fucking pull some kicks? Fuck's sake, damn. Try impersonating Finn the Pony? Oh dear. Uh, okay, I gotta think of a line from Finn, give me a sec. Uh, let me think of something from TF2 or something. Oh, okay, the first part of Red vs. Blue. Oh, looks like someone needs a hug. Huggies. <laughs> I will burn uh. your house down. <laughs> <laughs> also, sorry Finn is precious. Hello, my red Get out. Yeah, you're boring, <laughs> Finn. That's the code. <laughs> I love that bliss! <laughs> oh, okay, I got a good one for Golden Fox. Oh boy. Ripping it off from a magic lesson here, give me a sec. Oh. Ooh, look at me, I'm Golden Fox. I like wearing socks and pretty pink bows, and I can play the guitar. <laughs> while my freaking, like, while my freaking Discord avatar, he's still in his. He's still in his bunny outfit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you kind of set your yourself case. up for that one, Chief. I'm sorry? I said you kind of set yourself up for that one, Chief. Okay. <laughs> like, I really don't care. 
I take pride in that pick. <laughs> that is pretty neat. Now, bliss be golden and golden be bliss. Okay, be be be, be golden. Go. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm sorry. Be me. Oh. Um. You put that on the wrong spot. To the left. Re. <laughs> And I need help reaching the cookie jar because it's on the top shelf. I mean, I feel like if I feel like if Bliss and Golden would be would gonna be interchangeable, how would you tell? Because they're usually yelling at each other anyway. The only difference is they're using each other's names. Because apparently I have a high pitched gruff in my voice. That's a little more, bit more obvious than Golden is not is subtle i don't know golden doesn't have a grouch i don't voice. i don't beat around the bush yeah you stab people and, I, and I, tend to, I tend to stutter and stumble and go really loud when i'm angry he 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 doesn't really get angry yeah. <laughs> no, okay. no, sorry let me rephrase he doesn't get loud loud like i do but still <laughs> you might want to <laughs> Look at any time he has ever rage quit and tell me he doesn't get loud. <laughs> yeah, can, but I can be louder. You killed the oh, patient! Damn, you overdosed! <laughs> I mean, Golden, be real here. Be honest with yourself. Who's more scarier when we are legit angry? Me or you? Uh, yeah. Me. I don't know. No, no, you don't count, Solar. <laughs> yeah, I don't count because it would... And if I did... You cut out there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Discord had to nerf me because I was too powerful. I feel like I feel like the only two people here who have seen what actual angry me sounds like are Golden and Solar because I was in a group call with them and Wolf had a fucking white palace on Hollow Knight. That was so funny. It, it was. It was entertaining. It gave me sustenance. And uh, Blissey. She, uh, Wheels wants to see if he can try impersonating me or Aeon. Oh, fuck off. Oh, wow, that's really fucking difficult. Uh, okay, here's Jesse. Case in point. Should I stop now? Yeah, probably. Did somebody leave the call? I thought I oh. thought Jess left. <laughs> that would have been really funny. <laughs> I was uh, tempted. I was tempted. No, you want me to impersonate that. Aeon? Okay, here you go. <clears throat> Hello, dearies. Hello. Deary. That's like the one word in that tone that just easily def that easily defines yeah. Aeon. <laughs> I can't really. Yeah, even it. though, even though recently I've gone to calling people sweetie more often now. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind for <laughs> whatever reason. I don't know why, but I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> I can't do the lap though. I believe me, I've tried. <laughs> can't do it. I can't go deep enough. <laughs> and here's Riley. <laughs> Murder. <clears throat> Murder. My voice Murder. cracked. God damn it. Murder! Oh, fucking murder! Murder! murder. <laughs> well, I'll fucking do it again! I'll oh, 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 do it again! Yup! <laughs> Where's my. This kid. Where's, Where's my, my money, money Damien? Where's my money, Damien? I can't. Where's my, my money, Matt Damien? Where's my waifu pillow there, Damien? Where's <laughs> my money, Lebowski? <laughs> Yeah, Let me go in there again. Maybe it's in there. <laughs> uh, it's in there somewhere. Uh, let me take another look. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Where'd you bury my body, Skyrim? I quit. <laughs> I can. Is like, I can hear it mentally play back to myself. I was like, I can't make this funny. I don't Do Pete's voice? Oh, I'm sorry oh. about that logic. I don't even remember Pete's voice. You don't remember I'm Pete? I'm Pete's Peach. That's no, Pete. not Peach. Pete. And, you know, uh, the... Was Pete a cat? Uh, Pete is Disney's oldest character. I'm not even yep. kidding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but it's like, what, like, what animal was he? Because I can never tell. I think he's, he's a cat. Well, a cat. he's been like, he's been a cat. He's been a bear. He's been a dog. Pete is pretty much just Pete. Yeah. He's his a own entity. One. He's his own species. He's a cat dog bear. Gotcha. Cat dog yeah, bear. So like, but yeah, <laughs> after, like, after all this time, any amount of Disney I've ever, like, I've been exposed to recently doesn't have like that particular part of the Disney cast in it, so I don't I don't remember much about Pete apart from he's okay. big, he's fat, kinda looks like a cat, maybe. And he's usually the evil one. In some movies, yes. Yeah. It, and in one movie where he was been... literally death tormenting Scrooge to be a better person. Yeah, yeah the good that Christmas was, Carol that film. Scared me when I, I remember that it scared me as a kid. <laughs> but there were some movies, some movies and scenarios where he actually was just um acquaintance with some of the characters, like Goofy. That's about it, though. <laughs> yeah, Betty. Um. <laughs> okay, Katie posted a meme and, <laughs> and shared it with Josh and Ari because they're in the Christian circle of friends. So it's a uh, when you're the angel of death and you don't see Israelite's door with no blood on it. It's a picture of Gordon Ramsay saying, "Where's the love?" <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Ari are dying. I would imagine. Oh my god. That reminds me of a fucking. I fucking. I don't know why, but. I love listening to different accents when people are angry. You don't want to hear my accents. My accents are terrible. Oh, no. One of my is like one of my favorite ones, aside from everything Gordon Ramsay says when he's mad, is I love listening to angry Japanese people <laughs> because uh, it's like and just, there's a I'll be back. Like, ang like angry Japanese just sounds like the words could fucking kill you. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Like what well, my Mushendo well, levels of get fucked by the power of the voice nah. from a Japanese man. I still maintain, though, the most intimidating language to be in a conversation with is still Russian. Oh, no doubt. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that in the slightest. Then again, everything about Russians is scary. Like, they're not affected by the cold, and they can drink as much as they like. Their drinks don't even freeze. Yeah. And they always make the best <laughs> movie villains. Like yeah, no. It's like both Napoleon and Hitler tried to go and take them down, but it was like the literal weather decided, fuck off, no. would you? The literal largest empire in the world until the British Empire, which slaughtered nearly everyone before that, they were killed by the Russians. And that was the Mongols, by the way. Oh, hey, yeah. I was just going to say, you want Russia. Yeah, no, they were almost invincible until Russia decided to be Russia, and then the Mongols ceased to, ceased to be Mongolia anymore. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe you want Russian villains? Watch Chernobyl. <laughs> Such a good Get a Russian villain and a Russian here. Well, technically, well, I think Lugasov, I think officially was Ukrainian. Uh huh. Uh, but he did speak fluent Russian, and he was a, a up until then, a proud member of the Soviet Union. Up until then. Up until then. Hmm. This, like, for instance, the stuff that the uh, that uh, what is it? Uh, I think it's Cherkov, I think was the name of the KGB director. Uh, he he actually mentions when he's in the back room, like, little things he did just to gain party influence, including the time. And they do mention some of the more nefarious okay, so stuff he I'm did back, in the name of the party. And I just want to... Oh, hey, everybody? Oh, did I stumble yeah. upon something serious? No. Oh, no. kind of. No, oh, Aeon's talking about it. Sorry. No, what happened? What happened? 
<sighs> My dad's bar is permanently closed. They're not gonna open it back up again. Oh, oh fuck. Shit. Oh, wow. They're bad! <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that, Bliss. Everybody give Bliss the hugs. Uh, it's just that's where we had his his life anniversary. That's... I try to go there almost every year on the anniversary of his death or, um... Mm. This sucks. I'm sorry, Bliss. Yeah, and I don't want to. I don't want to down. I don't want to down the chat, guys. I'm gonna go. See you later. Oh, okay. See you, bless. Okay. See you, bless. Oh dear. Oh dear me. All right. Well, well I, I did want to say earlier that um, that Chrissy is one of the biggest sweethearts because. She went and post made herself something, and she also like unexpectedly she got me some Wendy's. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yum. Relationship goals. Yeah. <sighs> also, the whole coronavirus thing still going around. The, the it's gonna be a thing for a while. It looks yeah, like. The, yeah. Yes, it is. And it seems it seems to finally happen on my end that tech that the schools in my county of texas is finally closed for the rest of the year so i'm like god damn it i mean at least nicole is safe well yeah true she's safe but it's still gonna be it i still feel bad for her because she's still gonna be stuck in the house not being able to get out and have some fun go and explore so i'm more upset that her mm. that she that <laughs> is not passed enough to where she can still be able to finally get out and get out of lockdown because I know she'll be bored. she's getting bored half to death. Well, I mean, focus on making sure you guys are alive to see when it is and mm -hmm. fine. I know. I know one thing for sure once this whole thing is done and over with, everybody's gonna be out and be like, Yeah, fuck you, world. I'm going to the next con that's available. Uh, fuck it. I'm, I'm I, I need to see friends. Same here. I'm I'm hoping to take my daughter to one of the conventions that they have set up in June, at least. Either Everfree or Ciderfest. <laughs> yeah. I can't go to any of the conventions out of the state, sadly. But I'll try to for next year, so I'm gonna make sure my daughter comes with me. Aww. I just have to figure out which one first. Because I want to make sure I can, ha I, I can go to one where everybody is gonna be able to see her and all that stuff, including, like, Ellie, Golden, Bliss. Um, and, 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 like violating some of you guys. Aww. I know none of you, because I know that some of you have not met her in person yet, and some do, but probably don't remember her because she was a little bitty when they first met her. Cause, like Ellie doesn't didn't remember first meeting her because she was like at least two, maybe three. I don't remember exactly. But I know she was like still a toddler. So I'm like, man, now you really need to have her see her again. The first thing, the first thing I'm gonna do whenever I meet Nicole in person, is just tickle her, just like go right for the tummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, layer, Nicole. Oh, yep. I know for a fact what she's gonna say. Stop it, Golden! Stop tickling me! Just <laughs> be giggling up a storm, huh. trying to push you away. Just oh, I would so like want to get that on camera. Yes. Uh, that needs to be on camera. Adorbeties. No All right, Miller Jordan, have fun. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, things are winding down. Yeah, yep. it's been a uh, a very long and adventurous stream. Indeed, it has. <laughs> How long have you been streaming? Um, hang on, let me check here. Four and a half hours. Shit. Oh damn! Dang. Wow. Mm-hmm. We had such a big uh, group this time, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it was a big yeah, group that we all had fun doing, which is kind of rare. Because yeah, whenever right? there's, like, a big, big group, it's very difficult to manage. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of why I muted myself for a while time. there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. I'm hoping that next time for the conventions, I'm thinking either maybe Everfree would probably be a good choice. I'm not 100% sure, though. I don't know who's gonna, who's all gonna be in the same convention, and I have to make sure to save up. Well, if Everfree still goes as planned, it's probably gonna be the biggest Brony convention from... Yeah. Inner mm -hmm. are gonna be the two big ones. 
probably. Makes sense. And, appar and apparently TrotCon has ramped up popularity, too. Really? Well, yeah, all the brony... Way, so the ones that are sticking around are now shooting up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brogar. What? Um, what? What? Brogar posted something on Twitter of a little comic strip. Because this was based on a dream that he had the other day where oh, no. some, like, giant meteor is coming straight towards him. He's got this evil face, and then it just oh, poofs away. God, finally. And then all of a sudden you hear the voice, Rise, my child, for you have been saved by the Lord and Savior. And he's like, what the? Oh, my God. And he sees that it's Thespio. And he says, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brogar's just one of those artists who have way too much fun with whatever art that he draws. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you gotta love him. He's a, he's fun to he's fun to interact with. <laughs> murder. Whoa, murder. Murder. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll fucking do it again. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> Where's my money, Damien? Where's my money, Damien? That's what I'm gonna do to you! Well, that's what I'm gonna do to you! I can't do Goofy as good as Brian. I try. I try. I got this good. That's the funny thing, thing about Goofy. I, I, I just figured him out one day when I was trying to sing across the universe to myself. I'm like, oh, I can sing. I can talk like that if I access that vocal cord like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made goofy before. <sighs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. When Zing, my cancer will set upon the world. <laughs> it's so different from with me when it came to doing Pinkie Pie's voice. Heck, everybody I have, I have interacted with say that I sound really close to sounding like Pinkie. And Ooh. I don't even try with her. Well, I mean, you have a very cheery personality, so. But of course, how can I not? Who died? <laughs> Did I just make somebody leave? Died. <laughs> God. I think you killed Logic. No. Yeah, you killed Logic. I think I did. <laughs> uh, F. Congratulations, you killed Logic. <laughs> the murder spree. But who's going to be the next victim? Who will die? It could be you. It could be me. It could even. Yeah, I, I love that one. It could even yeah. be. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? It was obvious. It was He's obvious. the red spy. Watch. He'll turn red any second now. Any red. second now. See? Red. Oh wait, that's blood. Oh, wait. It's blood. Blood. <laughs> rest in peace, the voice actor of Soldier. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Rest, rest in peace, Rick May. Yeah. Also, voice actor of Peppy, slightly less known. Do a barrel roll! roll. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Got a salute for that man. He has done his last barrel roll. Pretty much. Ooh, <laughs> He's done wow. his last rocket jump, more like. Yep, yeah, pretty much. <sighs> it sucks. Yeah, he was. He was Peppy. He was a few other characters from the Star Fox series. And well, it sucks. Let's just hope that the replacements for Peppy are still good. You're saying that as if there's going to be a new Star Fox game. Yeah. Never like, they even tried to go back to its roots of its original gameplay with, with Star Fox Zero, and I've heard that it had some negative reviews still. Uh, I never under- I thought Star Fox was adequate as a- Yeah. It's a lot like, of people- like, like, I didn't see, like, I can't- I mean, yeah, it was short, but so was the original, and every, like, literally begging, oh, let's have a fucking Star Fox 64 remake, but with some extra stuff, which is what this game was. But it still Pretty somehow much. also wasn't right. 
I don't yeah, know. apparently it's still people can't make up their minds when it comes to what a lot of people want. say that they didn't really like the Wii U pad uh, controls and how you had to use a Wii pad in tandem with the TV and shit. I mean, it was kind of jarring at first, but once I got the hang of it, I was like, oh yeah, no, this is fucking easy. What are you talking about? Yeah, hmm. they just aren't. They just don't try wanting to use new things when it comes to games that were originally a remake of it. You know? I guess. Literally third time they redid the classic. Well, what else there? What else is there to do? Because there was Star Fox Assault, which felt like a different Star game. Star Fox Assault was also. I, I enjoyed Star Fox Assault. I mean, the Basically first also because it had GameCube multiplayer, and that shit was oh, that shit was nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's that's the type of game that you fucking that you pop college dorm and all your fucking roommates would. Just sit there's that was that was that kind of fucking multiplayer that everybody enjoyed. And there was also Star Fox Adventure, which that one was like a love. Oh, I've heard some negative shit about that one. That, that one was, was uh. Really? That one was. It was it was it was strange. Well, here's the but thing about Star Fox understood. Adventures. It wasn't a, it wasn't meant to be a Star Fox game. At yeah, first. no, that was supposed to be the game that. Crystal was supposed to be like the fucking franchise mascot of, and then she, yeah. then it got turned into a Star Fox game. Yep. Yeah, it was supposed they... to be on the N sixty four. Funny enough, it was supposed to be called Dinosaur Planet. So yep. But of course, yep. they had to put it into a fr delay it further into a more advanced console, and also they had to make it to where they could try getting back an old face. But of course. But then in the end, people end up throwing some negative comments, and honestly, I just see it as kind of a misunderstood game. It's just one of those things where, like, you have a franchise that was successful at first, but it ran out of gas easily. Like, you can't really do much else. Exactly. Um, like, Zelda can continue, uh, like, very well. Mario continued very well. Metroid has been kind of on a couple of bumps. Yeah. I still. Please give us something for Metroid Prime Four, guys. Please, I'm fucking, I'm begging you. You can't just leave me on a fucking god. You can't just blue ball me for fucking two years. Deep Urge, I haven't played the uh, 3DS remake. I will say this much though: when I owned the DS, I actually tried Star Fox Command, and I fucking hated the controls. Yeah. Star Fox Command was. Yeah, because you had to only use the touchpad to move around. Every other button, it's a shoot button. Well, what the fuck was the point of all the other buns then? I it's mean, stupid. Star Fox Command, it was also just kind of really, really strange for a Star Fox game. Mm -hmm. RPG elements and shit into it. It's like, oh, this ship has this stats that this character flies. I, I think the biggest this issue... With this ship. It's like, what? Yeah, what? I think the biggest issue with Star Fox is that they were jumping way too far ahead with trying to be innovative with anything. To the point where it just alienates the people who want to, like, try any games. But that also is something else that I always wanted to mention. Um, so, I hate to say his name, but this was when he was, you know, better at the time. When Matt Pat put together a video saying that we're kind of at fault for the reason why we don't have many innovative games. Because he mentioned the entire um, run... Um, the lifespan of the GameCube, and that a lot of its games, like Mario Sunshine, Star Fox Adventures, and, um, what was it, uh, Le um, the, the Zelda game, Wind Waker, like, those games Wind were, Waker. yeah, those Wind games, Waker is a yeah, like, obviously, threat. those games are, like, crowned achievements and such, but when it was, when it was first released, it didn't sell very well, and, oh, yeah, and let's... everybody thought it was some kind of baby game because of the art style and stuff, and I love that, that game. That was the reason. So the the Wind point Waker, I'm yeah. the point I'm making is, at that time, I think they went straight for innovation way too early to the point where like you could just work with high end graphics, but like okay, I'm saying this with a pinch of salt and sharing my side of the story with Mario. I actually avoided a lot of Mario Sunshine because I didn't like the idea of having Mario wear a water pack. With Mario 64, you enter a castle and such. Well, why not just use that same mechanic out in the Mushroom Kingdom with higher graphics? Nope, they, they went straight ahead for something bizarre and jarring. Well, here's the, I love Sunshine, honestly. Oh, I know I, that it's I a good game, but at the time, I was a little irritated that they went for something drastically different. And when you go for something like that, you run the risk of alienating your viewers to the point where they're unsure of whether or not they want to try it. 
And I'm I mean, not saying I'm not saying these are bad games. Another I mean, I get that's you. Like... That's kind of the reason why I don't really want to try Skyward Sword because I don't like the Wii motion controls. I I, I sword and I got about halfway through it and I'm just like, huh, this is kind of just forgettable as a Zelda game. Not that's it, for me. It's kind of just but... unremarkable. Thing uh, is, yes, the game controls are a little eh. But I've never painted I never try to make in like the issue of the controller is my main concern. I just want to know how well the game is story wise, how the music is, how the characters are and all that. That's my main focus. I never pay attention to how what the issues involving gameplay. Yeah, they're I mean, stressful, but yeah. Gameplay I is mean, one like, of the big aspects of it though. I mean gameplay is one of the big yeah, no, if if a game has a really good story but it controls like fucking trash, you're probably not gonna want to play very much of it yeah. regardless of how good the story is. Same for vice versa. True. I mean, look yeah. at what what was the, what was the name of that game? Fucking Vanquish. That was a real game. Like everything, based on fucking like going. F Basically, the story of Vanquish was: Hey, you're this fucking genetically augmented dude in a fucking so fast that everything else a fucking appears slow whenever you use it, and you can use it to like fucking slide around and fucking slow down time and all kinds of fucking crazy shit like that. But the story was also not that good, because it's just like, oh, yeah, there's evil people that want to blow things up. Go shoot them a bunch. Oh, Gameplay, shit. really fun, really cool. You could do a bunch of shit with the it. Story, story nah. not so much. Yeah, nah. Another one that was, like, considered um, when they tried to alienate... They, they could have alienated for like what a game was is when Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube came out. I know a lot of people didn't really like that game, and I don't understand. I, I could never understand why because one they it, I, the mainly because I've noticed the big excuse was is that it starred Luigi. That's it. Can we also That's the say? That's only complaint that I saw from it. Go Can ahead, we Riley? also say that Mario Kart Double Dash is one of the best Mario Kart games ever made? Mario Kart fun. Double Dash was fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was. God, you, you know, there's... Back that mechanic. <laughs> you know, what I should hold myself back. No, um, uh, I wanted to mention, like, a personal side of the story, but I don't want to uh, demonize him. Um, it's my brother. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Let's just say that he's always very, like, competitive. And whenever we did, like, Mario 64 multiplayer versus, he always aimed for the hardest setting. and I got my ass kicked. Oh. Yeah. One of those guys. Yeah. And if I was upset that I got last place, he would tell me to suck it up and sprout a dick. Good Oof. God. So here's the big irony. When he was playing uh, main campaign for uh, Double Dash... <laughs> Wait, ambulance driver had a heart attack, so he injured man inside. Had to. Oh wow! <laughs> Anyways, um, we had double dash for a short time, but the game was taken back for one big reason. My brother got frustrated in one of the main campaigns that he actually got last place, so he turned the game back in. You know, it's kind of ironic that you're telling me to grow up and sprout a dick, and yet. You're going to get pissy about getting last place for the first time. Mean. Yeah. And what does he do in response to getting last place? Oh, this game sucks. I'm taking it back. <laughs> Basically. That's what I would have guessed. Because I'm very familiar with people like that. I had to live with it. For over 20 years. Yeah, it's, it sucks when you have to live with somebody like I love him dearly, but God, his competitive nature can be really ugly. Yeah, that's why I don't try playing in anything when it comes to a competition. Is it possible to love someone and hate them? Yeah. Yo, have you ever heard Have you ever heard of siblings? Yeah. I mean, yeah, and also, you're also going to do that because you're. it's the opposite end of a poll. Because believe it or not... Um, the opposite of loving someone isn't hating them. The opposite of loving them is being completely indifferent to them. Mm, apathy. Because yeah. they're on two. 
Yeah, because their love and hatred are on two opposite ends of the same spectrum. You need to have an immense capacity for one to experience the other. I but if the person really that. does not, but if the person uh, really wants to show the opposite of love to you, then they'll then they just ignore you. I mean, yeah, because whether you love them or like something, also, whether some like basically whether you love them or hate them, something happening to them is still very important. Mm -hmm. it's just yeah, they're still happens. on it. You you've elevated them on an emotional pedestal. Exactly. Now I know people who hate things don't want to admit that. But you are, but by dearly hating something, you are putting it on a pedestal, mm -hmm. um, or you are venerating it in some way. That it's also true that, um, for instance, it's not it's not just that you are um, like venerating it. It's also that uh, what else is it? Fuck. Okay, there was an important there was an important thing I was trying to get into with this. Let me try to regain my train of thought. Um, if you. Uh, Right, you need a great capacity for one to be able to experience the other, and... Oh, right, yeah. Your brain... Funny thing about your brain is that if you can't build a loving relationship with someone, your brain will actually settle for hatred instead, because it still, re it still recognizes that you are still important to the person, even if it isn't positive. Hmm. That, and that's an interesting little note about uh, psychology. That's a little interesting note about psychology for you. Um, or to put another way, and this is an this is an African proverb, and it's a really really cool one, even though it kind of makes the spine a bit tingly. It's um, oh, right, uh, the child ignored or the one ignored by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth. Hmm. Uh, yeah, my spine started to tingle. No, but that is, that is so true on like a deep level, though, because I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure we've all had a burn down the village moment. At oh, some point in our life. definitely. Burn down the village <laughs> moment. Yeah, it, it it sends a chill through spot because everyone has had that moment. If you can read between the lines in it, you've had a moment where you thought that for, where you you were willing to settle for hatred as opposed to love because you couldn't get it. I mean, I've never did that with family. I've done that with a bunch of kids in a particular school. Especially with one particular principal, which I still am angry at to this day. Damn. But here's the thing with this dude. The principal, when he had to promote to being just a teacher for one of these uh, schools that I went to, um, he called my mom. He brought my mom in when she came to pick me up. And flat up told her to her face that the way because of the way I have such a bad learning disorder, he didn't think I would graduate high school. Oof. That is yeah. Wow. He's one of those kind of guys. You Dick. can imagine how. Yeah, you can imagine how ticked my mother was. I swear, if I don't know if I was there or if I did, I would not have remembered. But I swear, I felt like she could have easily chewed him out because of that. That's like the biggest insult you could ever hear, hear from a child for a child. And yeah, after hearing that, I was especially mad at him, and I wanted to definitely prove him wrong, and I did. So ha. What do you think of me now, Princey? <laughs> So I just want to add on to that of your brother assuming that you wouldn't be able to graduate because of your learning disability. You are an idiot! <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah, it wasn't a brother, it was a principal, but yeah. Oh. But yeah, that's the that fit. Yeah. It, my mom was ticked. It's still like the story when your mother was proud of you for giving out the finger. <laughs> scared somebody by giving him a death glare over something stupid too <laughs> you want to know what it is what <laughs> over french fries <laughs> <laughs> okay i have to explain this story 
It was during lunchtime, and you know school cafeteria lunches can be a hit or miss when it comes to being decent and at least edible. You know how that whole it is with high school especially? Well, the only decent thing that I always go for when it came to my school's cafeteria was their pizzas and their french fries. So, one time I was waiting for them to stock back up on the french fries for us because I had to wait a while. And of course, I was already starting to get angry because I was hungry. Yeah, it's not fun when one gets hangry. <laughs> So I got the I got the fries. I already had my pizza, and I was gonna go right up to the register to pay. I already put some ketchup next to the fries as well, so I could dip them. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, somebody bumped my arm while I was holding on to the tray, and a good portion of the fries fell on the floor. Uh, now here's where it was even more insulting. The dude just said in this kind of tone, uh, uh, "Sorry." Yes. Boy! You said it like this. You helped me, you like you helped me pick these fries up, you little bitch. No, no, no. Here's where it led to something. Here's where it gets better. When he looked at me, I looked back at him. I think I was giving him such a horrible, horrifying death glare. Because he immediately went from that kind of tone to like, Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he bolted. <laughs> That's right, you little bitch. <laughs> I had to take a deep breath to calm myself down and quickly grab another batch of fries. But I, I then found out from, because somebody found out and told my sister, and she's like, Jesse, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Somebody told me that you gave some guy a death glare. I did? Well. I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even realize it until my sister told me at school. I was like, I did? All right, then. <laughs> I see we've gotten to the part of the call where, uh, uh, uh fuck, sorry, sec. We've gotten to the part of the call where everyone's doing a weird flex but okay moment. <laughs> yeah, that, that was like one of the rare occasions where I actually almost let out, almost lashed out at somebody. Don't you seem to have a lot of those? Because, no offense, you, you, a lot of conversations with you tend to go into like, eventually go into you trying to make, tell stories about how, oh, I shouldn't be messed with. Oh, look at this guy. I was going to fuck him up. I was so close to it. Uh, uh if, 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 you know, stuff like that. It, it just feels like that a while. Eh. <laughs> At least you didn't get expelled because the principal believed you couldn't graduate. I, on the other hand, had got, got expelled because my middle school couldn't handle me, quote-unquote, and my mom didn't tell me until I graduated high school. Oof! Oof! Wow. Ouch! That, 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 that hurts. It does. You know, the thing, that's, it's one of those things that always, like, irritates me, is that people always suffer that unfortunate fate when entering junior high, and the first thing that happens is that you become an easy target for bullying. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was an easy target for bullying all the way throughout my life at school. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I'm a victim of that, too. Yeah, it wasn't here. until, um, it wasn't until high school is when I finally decided to grow backbone and be tired of it. Because these guys are just nothing but jokes. Well, the difference is, is that I was always trying to defend myself, but always failing to do so. I couldn't. I was too much of a scaredy cat. And I would always get in use. trouble when I tried to stick up for myself. Same here. Yeah. I have difficulty. I also have difficulty negotiating on my own behalf because of how I was raised. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The problem at my school was was. You're the one big nerd who has all of the popular girls' phone numbers in your phone because you go to Sunday school with them. The problem is they know your secrets, and you know theirs, but you can't use them against them because they're constantly surrounded by six-foot-tall football players who will be sicked on you if you say anything. Uh... Oof, that's terrifying. 
So they pushed all my buttons, but I couldn't push them back because I didn't want it to be six on one. Understandable. Yeah, high school was hell. I remember one time my sister got into a fight with someone over because they were bullying me. got in so much trouble when she when she actually picked a fight with this one girl who was picking on me. Like she legit punched her in the face and she got and that girl never messed with me ever since. Because they were and every kid was scared of my sister. <laughs> but dang apparently sis you're scary when you're mad. <laughs> she she doesn't even care. She never, she never cared what they thought of her. Oh, how many of you guys got poked fun of because of your name alone? Like if you had like a yeah, yeah. Thornberry. Yeah. Hey Brett, do you talk to animals? Oh. Oh. It got so bad God. that a couple of times in high school, my name was misspelled. Mm. Yeah. My last name rhymes with the curse word. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, mine was, was always. Fine. Mine was always this. Jessica Barber needs a barber. <laughs> yeah, that one was an old one that that this one dude still used during high school. I was like, whatever, man. Times like whatever. these, like whenever I see bully characters in like fictional stories, it's always cathartic to see them get the short end of the stick. Sometimes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that one is like so freaking stupid. And the word, and the thing is, I mutter to myself without him noticing, like behind his back, because his last name is Hall, and I say John Hall should go to hell. Oh. I muttered that to myself without him hearing it. After he, every time he says that, he does it where I can hear him. I make sure no one hears him. That he doesn't hear me. I used to have this bully in like fifth grade whose name was go Tyler. From LCS. Alright. Yeah. His name was Tyler Estes, and you can imagine what kind of nickname he would have. Oh, oh man. No. Oh dear. <laughs> also, but, um, there was a one other time. Oh, people, a lot of kids, especially with like earlier eight years, they poked fun of my hair. Because at that time, oh. I had, like, because my hair was so frizzy and poofy and almost afro-like, I couldn't help it because, you know, curly hair, the curse of it. One person decided that this was, like, way back in elementary school, so that it didn't last. But, um, basically, this one person decided to call me Medusa. Oh. <laughs> Irony is, I... Turned that around and used it against them. <laughs> nice. Like, oh, then you best not look at me or I might turn you to stone. I even scared some kids by doing that. Because they did not want to turn, they didn't think that I would really do it. They were actually almost convinced. <laughs> it's funny. Thinking back on it, it was funny. <laughs> like, yeah, but that that thing call did not last long. Like it only lasted for about a month, and they stopped calling me the Medusa after that. <laughs> because you know they weren't expect they didn't think I would have that kind of reaction out of it. So just so you, because that is actually one of the few species of mythology I enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you somehow managed to find some way around. Getting on, like, trying to work around, like, karma over this, pe like, anybody who calls you names. Like, some people, it's difficult to take in stride. Because anything is automatically going to be taken as offensive if someone calls you something. Yeah, it wasn't, the main reason is because I had a lot of people who encouraged me to not let, to try to turn that name around. 
on them. There were times where I did got very upset about it, and they would use that against me a lot. I still remember that one time somebody stole my binder of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Ah. Uh... Yeah. No, like I had I had a collection of physical CDs, a classic rock, and over two hundred dollars worth of them, no less. They got stolen one day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. And a similar yeah. thing a similar thing happened in junior high that I had enough quarters to get myself like a snack. Somebody actually took a pouch where I had all the change and they fucking stole it. And to add insult to injury was a raining bunch of pennies, and I'm like, what the hell? And then there was the pouch right in front of me. I'm like, this is supposed to be mine. So people, you know, there's a lot of people who are, like, just putting pennies in. I'm like, where are my quarters? And periodically, I kept getting hit in the back of the head. It's like, you know, I'm fucking done. So I just walk away. Didn't even care that, like, the school bell was ringing. Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that, dude. When my binder of Yu-Gi-Oh cards got stolen, I was in a panic mode because there was a lot of good valuable cards that, because this is like when Yu-Gi-Oh was starting off and becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. So a, a lot of those cards were like really good rare cards, some good hollows and whatnot. The fact somebody had the gall to steal it in my bag when I was not there, to, because I had to go to the restroom before I started my next class, when I came back and noticed it was gone, I panicked. Understandable. Mr. Analog, whenever I did get smacked in the back of the head, I just immediately turn around, and there's like a bunch of other people, so I can't tell who it was. So they were able to be slick over it. Yeah. They'll find ways. Oh, yeah, eventually I did find out who stole it, and it was because, and it all started because that one, the girl that I gave the bird to, mm -hmm. was the cause of it. She had these guys steal my binder of Yu Gi Oh cards. Ah. Uh. And when I found out, I was mad. So, what did you do after that? Like, did you find someone to get back to them? Well, after I got the, um, after I got my binder back and we found out that some punks were using it to take advantage to get the money, because they, we actually offered pay, to pay to get it back. And when we found out it was a scam, my mom never paid. And the vice principal came and chewed out who was responsible. She chewed them out. <laughs> Harshly, no less. Now, I'll bet you were enjoying a bag of popcorn watching that. That must have been awesome. I was mainly just trying to stay calm, but I was deep in, in the back of my mind. I was like, yeah, you guys have no one to blame with yourselves, you punk. I, but I didn't realize the girl who I gave the birth to was responsible for the whole thing. So when I found out, thanks to one of my friends, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, she was responsible, eh? Alright, let's play this little game then. And that's when I did that day where I gave her the bird, so. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Isn't her stealing the binder the reason why she gave. Um, no, no, no. Uh, isn't okay, it the no, other no, way around? She, uh, she uh, okay. The girl that I gave the bird to, she yeah. told these two dudes. Yeah, there was that part, and then you found out it was her. Of having and your body stolen. Know, I didn't know she was the one who encouraged them to do it. Okay. Until later, when one of my friends told me, because they found out. What a bitch. Yeah. So you gave her the bird again? No, I only did it once, because it was right after I found out that, and, and then right after that when I went to the class that she was in, and I knew she was looking at me. Mm-hmm. She knew I was watching her. And she was being all smirk and smug and like any classic biatch that she is. Okay, so. And I just stood there. So you stood there and you gave her the birdie. Yep, I just stood. stood okay, there, so you said that you. Her right in the face. Hold on, hold on a second. So you said you did it once. Did you do it before? That was the only time. Did you did no. this happen before or after your binder was stolen? After. It was after 
It was after it got stolen and I got it back and then I found out she was responsible. She was the reason why they stole it. Okay. So when I found out, I just stared her down. Casually, just flipped her off. And then I just went back like it was none of my business. Like, it, nothing happened. And she flipped. And of course, after when my mom found out, she's like, I am so proud of you. <laughs> uh, it still makes me get, it still makes me laugh knowing that that happened and my mom was not mad at me for it <laughs> I don't think I've I'm trying to remember if I've ever no I've never been into like actual legit fights that was more my sister than me but I do remember I did got punched once yeah, that was Hey guys, I'm gonna head off. Okay. Alright. Alright. Don't Bye. die, but if you do, make it funny. <laughs> Choke me harder, daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think it's time we, uh, we wrap this up. Alright. All right. So, thank you guys for, uh, sticking around. It was a fun stream. I don't know when I'll be streaming again. I'm still on the fence of whether or not I'll just take a week off. <laughs> but until then, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of uh, the rest of the weekend and whatever happens afterwards. Stay safe. Keep your hands clean. And let's hope to God that this stupid virus thing blows over. Wash your yeah. motherfucking hands. Yep. <laughs>